How did you get out? What the heck? You don't have thumbs, you didn't open that gate. Got a little Houdini on our hands. Always oh, been out long enough to where he got hungry. Straight to the teat he goes. Ah, I suppose he could have crawled through this hole. It's pretty small, but he might have made it. These girls do not want a cab. It's these seven, and then one more in the other barn that have left a cab. La. Like keep up with him. He's gonna. Go like heck and try to get to the white building and and uh, not get stuck. Once he gets inside on the concrete, then we can clean that out. Well, he's just not wasting any time here. I couldn't hardly keep up. Got the two speed. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you had it in road gear. I see. Welcome back, folks. It's a great day. Yesterday was 50. Today it's getting to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Last video, we had a wintry mix storm. They were calling for two to eight inches. We got about a half inch. We got some rain as well, but. Once again tomorrow, they're saying like four to eight inches. Well, the last three storms we've gotten, we got way less than what they were calling for. So we'll we'll see what happens. Like I keep saying, we need the moisture. Every time it snows, it's bittersweet, but that moisture's good. We're, we're living off of just a handful of bales left. We're barely gonna make it to pasture turnout. So we really wanna replenish our hay crop and some snow might help that. Of course, a lot of rain will. Today's Monday, looking into late this week. They're talking 70s, a bunch of warm weather coming. If that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. Anyway, we're gonna feed real quick, and then because that wintry storm's coming, we're gonna clean a barn, that white building, and then we'll probably hop on over to Uncle Jeff's and see how my calves are doing. What do you think of some bagpipe music for Song of the Day, Cole? Sounds like a jolly good time. <laughs> jolly. Piper Doug will appreciate this because he's a piper, I think, with the bag tip. The Pied Piper? He's, he plays bagpipes, I guess. Anyway, the Song of the Day is by ACDC. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. All right, so Dad is going to go feed a bunch of hay, about five bales. We're running low, so don't tell him about it. He's kind of fretting, so don't put that in his head that we're low on hay and <laughs> running out of it. Yeah, so don't comment in the comment section. Are you running low on hay, Brian? Don't do it, please. <laughs> I bet it happens. Mm -hmm. All right, you have fun now. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, oh no. Oh! Oh, my spreader! It's destroyed. Well, son of a biscuit. Tore the differential right out of her. Good golly, what am I? Guess I know what my Christmas present to dad will be next year. My mom's gonna be mad at me. Sorry, mom. I got video evidence that I did it too. <laughs>
Now this should be the last time we clean this building, especially since temps are getting up to 70 next week. Things are gonna be drying out. New blade needed. So later today, we're gonna move these girls up to the new barn. Just a little bit nicer cabin in there. And as you know, all of dad's pastures are full, so these pears are gonna stick around here for a while. There's nowhere to go with them. So we're gonna move those older pears that have nowhere to go out to this building. That way we can watch the ones that haven't calved yet a little bit easier in the close barn. Sunny farms, sunny farms, southeastern South Dakota with its natural charm. Sunny farms, sunny farms, southeastern South Dakota with its natural charm. Brian and Cole, father and son, raising Angus cattle. That took a little extra time every time I'd go outside to dump. It's muddy out here now, and I just drag it right back in. But we got it cleaned out for the most part. Now with the big thaw we've had, if I go and spread this in the field that we've been spreading in, I'm gonna leave some big ruts, and we're not gonna do tillage out there. So I'm actually just gonna spread it in this field right here, because I know we're doing tillage out there, and yeah, we're gonna make some ruts. <laughs> Guess we're gonna just have to grab handfuls and hand spread it. My transfer case blew out. How's that? Yeah. Well, we got it done nonetheless. That stuff just kills bacteria. There's no guarantee that we're helping anything, keeping any calves healthy, but do everything we can. It's not fun having to deal with sick calves, that's for sure. Well, we got the FedEx man pulling in. Well, cool, this thing came pretty fast. You know, we had a video called Bad Moms. We were having issues with cows that weren't accepting their calves and so we were having to milk some cows. If you've ever milked a cow, just getting into it, you, you kind of grab, and then with the rest of your fingers, you work that milk down, squeeze it out, and your hands really start getting the cramp. Now, I'm sure there's some old boys that did it their entire lives, and they're thinking, man, these guys are pussies. Sorry, I don't know what to tell you. And so Dad said, there's got to be something out there that can help us milk some cows easily. And so we got ourselves the Utterly, the original Utterly Easy Milker. Now, of course, it's right at the end of the season. I'm not sure if we'll have the chance to use it. It even comes with a rag. Look at that. But we got a couple different size uh, teat holders is what I'm going to call them. And we're not going to get too in-depth. So you get a nipple on there. You get some sort of reservoir on there. And then you just squeeze it, and it makes starts putting a little pressure on that teat. Sucks that milk down. Now, I don't want to say hopefully we can use it this year because that means we're having issues and we got to milk a cow, but... Um, that's something dad probably wishes he would have bought 10 years ago. They do have fancy electric ones. Well, we're not going to be milking a cow every morning so that we got milk. We, we still get our milk from the store, but, but that'll be, I'm not sure where that goes. So that'll be cool. And that is a uh, American made product right there.
Looks pretty good. This is like the only guy that's actually in the pen. So from dad's adventures of feeding a couple different groups of cattle, he saw one cow with a limp and you know it's been moist and you know what loves moisture? Bacteria. And so those cows walk in it and if they get a sore on their foot or an open wound, something called foot rot can set in. So we're thinking that's what the issue is. So we're gonna give her a dart. And then he also saw one calf that was bloated a little bit. So we're gonna treat him with something. A few videos back, we treated one with a little bit of pneumonia and we're gonna give him one more round just to make sure that's really cleaned up, cleared up. So we got three animals to treat when he gets back. I'm gonna load up four wheelers in here. Those calves are getting big and strong and fast. And so dad and I do it in a way where we chase them along and then corner them and kind of make a fence with the four wheelers and break our plastic off while that little bugger is kicking at them. But it works really good. Dad and I have done it a lot. It's pretty efficient and quick. We're gonna have a little bit of a rodeo going on. a dart and the dart gun. I got some pellets in the back so we'll get all those cattle eating on some perlet and we'll find that limper, give her a dart, she'll be feeling better real soon. Bye. Or in this case, cow's neck. Then I'll put the syringe in or the needle in my pocket. Here we go, folks. I don't use the head mount very often, but you're gonna need all hands on on this one. Got him? Under the skin. How many cc's? Uh, two sprays. Was that the bang? Yeah, I slappy did a little bit. That's okay, there's a lot of broke up. <laughs> Just a few. Yeah. One or two are in there. We've always got fencing projects, don't we? So that first one, you could see it was really bloated and Dad had some stuff that he's had good luck with. Clostridium antitoxin. So we gave it an injection first and then we had it swallow some. And so, you know, it goes right to the source that way. Yep, that should take care of that. Now we got one that, you know, that lunger and we're gonna give him a shot. Oh, wow. doing taking a hole or something is there a crater down in there what if it's a skunk you won't be able to sleep in the garage if you get sprayed our mailman was here not too long ago and he said on the radio they apparently made it sound like the storm coming starting tonight going into tomorrow it's not very pleasant we're gonna spread some bedding here spread some bedding at some cows at where we call the bow place then head on to Uncle Jeff's, check on those critters over there, and give them a little bit of bedding. And while we're there, this thing needs an oil change, and so Dad and I will handle that. It's all it takes. Now 
we're getting pretty deep into the year. This should be our last winter storm. Just because it should be doesn't mean much, I suppose. Pulling up to the oil change station. I'm seeing a calf with a head stuck over here. Yeah, you're pretty close. Keep twisting. All right, now you got a pole. Before that fine you don't have to, right? Well, we'll put all this out there and then okay. that'll get them started and then you can do more after if you want. Okay. Fresh oil and filter and air filter. We got a pretty good amount of bedding left in there. Shoot some in that calf shelter and around the windbreaks. One clave. Hey, you're gonna need to vacate. Whoa. <laughs> Hey. He's got the brockle face. I wish you had a brockle face. I don't. Oh. Looks pretty good out here today. Even though two days ago we were getting snow and rain, there's dry spots already. That's going to change starting tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Santa's coming to town. Not really, just snow and sleet and sideways rain she got money what did you get into look at ya oh man mom ain't gonna like it first i broke her spreader and now you're gonna get the garage all muddy i'm gonna take these six or seven pairs they're gonna go over there that way the ones that haven't calved we'll get them up here and they'll have plenty of room to calve in the nice barn Oh no, he got stuck. If you back it up, I will thwart it. That's thwart with a T-H-W-A-R-T thwart. Here comes my, uh, oh, coal screwed down so long. Hey, hey. Yeah. The cow's getting It'll come back on the calf. Uh, ah. Ah. Well, we're ready for the eighth or ninth winter storm of the season. I think this is the last one. Actually, I looked at my phone and next week, about a week from today, they were thinking it could be 80 degrees, which is a little excessive, going from below 30, jumping all the way up to 80. Dad fed some hay, we cleaned a building, treated a couple calves and a cow, bedded some stuff down, but we're ready for spring. But we appreciate you guys watching. Hope you tune in next time. Have a good one. Did I tell you? How many animals does work oh, on? There's a bigger tea hole. Oh, that's good for yeah. mastitis. Oh wait, there's more. A tiny tea hole. Did I tell you how many animals this worked on? What all can you milk with it? Well, pretty much anything, like a goat, or a sheep, or a horse, or a cow. Well, I got tea. Can you milk me? Well, as long as you stand still and don't kick. Do you need the small hole or the big hole? I don't. I guess lift up your shirt. Let me take a look. Oh. I'd say the tiny. <laughs>